Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana Erin, watching The Apothecary Diaries. I love this show so much. You guys just don't understand. I love Mau Mau. I love how she looks at purple hair dude with total disgust because he's trying to use his charm on her and it's not working. And, and I love how she's coming in here. She's able to figure out um, these illnesses because of her being a, an apothecary. But also I like how we're seeing that sometimes it's not just medicine that she knows very well it's also the mental and the fact that her working previously in a brothel has it's many many good what situations for her to learn from okay but yeah i'm not gonna hold you i'm gonna zip it and let's go and jump right on in let's go that's crazy how the emperor has all these girls here so he can just smash whenever he wants that is bizarre oh that's right he has in something on going on with his hands covert operations Purple hair dudes fighting? What? I didn't take him much of a fighter, but I guess he has to have some basic fighting skills or probably more. Jin Shi, I gotta remember his name. What? Oh, from working with the other um, concubine. <laughs> Mushrooms! <laughs> She's having a grand old time. She's trying to stash it for herself. They want her to gain weight. Huh? <laughs> she just made some. It's a secret. Oh, her mushrooms? Oh, she'll share with him. <laughs> she still calls him a quack doctor. <laughs> He's an accomplice. <laughs> she made him eat it first. Here we go with the curse thing again. What is that? Is that a rash? What's in the bag? Oh, that's right. He threw the things in there. And they turned colors? But what about his hand? Oh, he touched it. Maybe it's so something on it that caused him a rash. It's not a curse. Yep, she knows. Yeah. But what's on it? <laughs> Did y'all eat all the mushrooms? Facts. いや、熱湯もありません。専門外なので残りません。うん。なるほど。ロビン虫が好きだ。ドビン虫が好きだ。ドビン虫が好きだ。ドビン虫が好きだ。ドビン虫が好きだ。ドビン虫が好きだ。
Hmm? They're gonna change her outfit? Food? Empress Consort. A virtuous consort and pure consort. Well, that's nice. Eat, girl. Stuff your face. <laughs> she don't want to go. <laughs> Her eyes are ablaze. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it looked kind of. What's she trying to do? Get him a man? I like her freckles. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> An iron bladder. <laughs> oh, she's gonna prep her stomach. Ah. Oh, heavens. <laughs> she don't be called to help us. <laughs> I love her. How did he know? How does he know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they need to give her a higher pay. <laughs> She's like, I ain't uh, breathing in this dust. This girl cannot catch a break. <laughs> Well, she made it just in time. Some of what? Oh, sounds like it happened at the party. Her hair is always pretty. <laughs> Any bad bugs? Oh, not just an apothecary. What? Got her. Oh, that's what she meant. What? Does she not have freckles to begin with? Or does she make herself look ugly? Lishu? She seems kind of young. She's infatuated with Jinshi. Yep. His favorite toy. Hey, she's a toy. Is she gonna be super pretty that Jean she melts? She's pretty. <laughs> she don't wanna look at him. She is beautiful as a sheep! Sobakasuna <laughs> She would put the makeup on her face. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
見ていたものが化粧をした顔です。化粧はきれいにするだけのものではありません。なんでそんなことをする She doesn't want to be seen or noticed. とはいえ、女に飢えた娘は、金も持たず暴力的で、性病持ちも多い。チビでやせびすの仕込むなら、Oh, so she did it for a way to protect herself. たわりに人さらいに角をかされましたけどね。ギリギリ売り物になると判断されたようです。そうですか。Her story is so sad. But she doesn't seem for it to bother her as much. あらたたしくないのかそれは言うまでもなく。でも、人生様のせいではある。She's very understanding. What did he just give her? What type of moment? He gave her a pen? Does he like her? <laughs> Hold on a darn minute. He's supposed to be a eunuch. He's not supposed to have these type of desires, right? Yeah. He's no longer mine alone. Is he claiming her? Ooh, I like the little effects. I wonder why he hasn't picked a, an empress.、Mm, something bad's about to happen. Something in the food? Oh, hate freaking that. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichoke. I think. Jinshi Sama is claiming our little apothecary here when he gave her his pen. I'm not too sure because the way Lady、um, Gyokyo, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, had、um, mentioned, oh, you know, you're not mine alone. You already, you know, reneged on your word. It's like, is he claiming her? But to me, it's like, how can he claim her? You can't even do that anyway. I mean, you can always date. I'd say your man bits determine if you're. Able to have a relationship, but I'm thinking, like, being a eunuch, you're not supposed to have those types of desires anyway, like having the companionship. Or am I just wrong in my understanding? It is another good episode to hear her story of why she applied the freckles、um, to be less desired is very sad. It's very sad because she had to protect herself as best as she could, especially working at a brothel. It would make sense that she would be a target if she's young.、Um, Small, petite, some guys like that type of stuff. So, if they were to see her and they thought, like, hey, she's fresh meat, they're probably going to want to target her. But for her to make herself look ugly is a good way for her not to gain that attention. They're like, oh, this flat chested, ugly girl, they're not going to want to deal with her.、Um, but yeah, this was, this was a really good episode. I really love this show. You guys already know this already. But yeah, I have to. End this one here so I can go ahead and watch the next one. So, thank you so much for watching this with me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.